Hey, what's up to the tube? Um, I've had a few questions on my Smith & Wesson 622 video that I posted about inner workings and disassembly. So I'll show real quick uh, how I break it down and what parts are inside there. It's kind of an awkward angle to film and work on a gun at, but do what I can to show you. Um, the gun comes with a small tool, which is basically just a T-shape plastic thing with small uh, divots on the in end. It helps retain the guide rod and the spring, which you'll see in a moment. Um, if you don't have this tool, it's not a real big deal. You can use an uh, empty 22 casing, uh, already fired shell, don't try it with a full one. And what you can do is go ahead and lock your slide back. This small pin fits in between the frame and the slide and inside the slide you can see the end of the guide rod there which is why it has the dippled end the end on it so I lower that into place kind of get it centered up At this point the slide has a little bit of play and you can see the small key move up here um, when the tension is off of it right you can just pull this key out this key is directional which has a round end and a flat end that flat end will go towards the barrel end front of the gun. From there, what I do is I try and keep a finger in here lightly, pull the tool out, and the guide rod is now pushed forward under spring tension, so be careful with it. Just pull it right off the top, slide it out of the gun, and at which point the slide now is just free floating and free. Um, in the lower frame what you have is a small tube that that spring and guide rod fit into from the front. It has a small access in the back but it can't come out. Uh, you have laid back right here is the hammer because the gun was cocked as I um, took it apart. You can put a magazine in it and then the hammer can move. Um, not really cleaning it, just ever trying to show everybody. Um, on the slide, from the right angle, you can see the rear of the firing pin, which is spring-loaded to the rear. So if you shake your slide around, and you hear that shaking around, this probably means that that spring is broken. Um, Got your shell extractor on the side here, but the firing pin is what could be making any vibrating noises. Again, should have a spring pushing it to the rear. And same with the frame. Um, there's really no loose components or anything that should shake around or make noise as you, as you shake it. So for reassembly, all you do is set the slide into the notch. You can then put the spring back into that tube, let it rest on the frame for a moment, get your 22 casing or your uh, tool if you happen to have it, get it on there, get it kind of centered up so that the slide can move over it. At this point, as you look down in there, you'll see a small notch in the guide rod where this pin We'll just slide right back over again at that point. It's fully functioning and back together. I uh, hope that helps. Um, again, when the gun is fully assembled, you hear, should hear no, no vibrations or no rattling. Uh, Y'all have a good day.